No, you should not share your feelings with a woman. No, never. <laughs> well, before anything, let's define what sharing feelings actually means. Okay, when I say you should not share your feelings with a woman, I'm not saying that you should not express how you feel to a woman. Mm -mm. On the contrary, you should express how you feel, especially if what she is doing makes you happy or makes you unhappy. You should be very, very clear about it. No stoicism, no like swallowing it, and, and no, 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 no. If she does something that you do not like, you make it really, really clear. You make it clear by your expression, by the tone of your voice, and by your words. You tell her, "I don't like this. Don't do it anymore." Okay. And on the flip side, of course, when she does something that you do like, tell her. Tell her. Make it clear. Make it clear. Don't hide your emotion. If she is doing something that you appreciate. Okay, whatsoever that may be, no matter how small it may be, especially if it's something that you want repeated in the relationship, right?、Uh, you want your woman to, I don't know, clean up your room or make you dinner or something like that. When she makes a nice dinner, praise her. Yeah, and you know what you should look into, by the way. And so far as this is concerned, you should look into dog training manuals. Oh yeah. Like positive reinforcement, yeah, the whole thing. Study that because it works. Because human beings are animals, okay. If it works for dogs, it's going to work on a woman, okay. So、uh, yeah, and it's not me putting them down and saying, oh, they're bitches. No, I am saying that human beings, all human beings, are animals, and we respond to positive reinforcement and to negative reinforcement, okay. So you. You know, saying that you don't like something or you do like something, perfectly reasonable. What I'm saying, insofar as never share your emotions with a woman, is quite different. Okay, because you have to understand what women are talking about when they say that they want to share emotions with a man. <laughs> Basically, what they want to do is、uh, treat you like a woman. Yeah, that's what they want to do. How do women interact with each other? Huh? They share their emotions. Okay. And when I say that they share their emotions, I'm not saying that they 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 feel、uh, emotions at the same time. No, no, no. Rather, they talk about their emotions, right? They talk and analyze their emotions, right? They they say that they feel like this and they feel like that, and and they tell one another and they go into great detail. I mean, minutia on how they feel and why they feel as they do, for whatever reason, right? Uh, they do this obsessively, and it is a way for a woman to bond with another woman, right? But see, this is not the way a woman bonds with a man. Oh no! See, the way a woman bonds with a man, bonds effectively with a man, is when the man is basically saying, "We're going in this direction." And we're going to go that direction and do this, that, the other. Whatsoever the objective may be, the objective of the unit, the the couple. Because remember, a couple, a man and a woman, are a unit. And once they have children, that union is complete. That that's the project. Okay, Th that unit is. When a man and a woman get together and have children, create a family, and move forward through life. Trying to get the best advantages for their children—that's the point of the man-woman thing, right? Women bond to a man who is clear and decisive as to where he is going, in so far as this family unit is concerned. They want that, and women are fundamentally passive. And I know feminists are going to freak out and have a, like a whole shit fit about it, but it's true. See, women are fundamentally passive, and they they go along to get along, right? And what they want, what they crave, they need it existentially. Need it. They need a guy to tell them where they're going. Okay. They do not need a man or want a man who wants to share his emotions with a woman. No, because it's not appropriate to the relationship between a man and a woman. It's appropriate between women and women. Yeah, that's how women and women interact. They share their emotions. But see, in our current society, with this whole you know equality bullshit, right? See, the sexes, both men and women, 
are confusing the roles, and more to the point, they are confusing the psychological needs of one sex and the other, and think that both sexes should give them this psychological need. Now, women have this psychological need of dissecting their emotions and, and figuring them out and talking about them, right? They have the psychological need and they normally express the psychological need with other women. And they have, at the same time, the psychological need of a man who is going to tell them what to do, where to go, when to get up, when to go to sleep, what things have to be done. They have this need. Perhaps not every individual, but on the average, yes, that's how it is. There could be some woman who isn't like that at all. Yeah, but you know, there, there, there are women who are six feet tall and men who are five feet nothing, okay? Yeah, of course, exceptions abound. The vast majority of women, they want a man to tell them what to do. They don't want a man who's going to be debating with her his emotions. Yeah, because she might think that she wants that. And the society might be fomenting at this time for ideological reasons, that kind of a relationship. But no woman wants that. No, because what happens is that, see, if a woman gets that from a man, if the man starts sharing his emotions and and being all gay about his emotions with a woman, right? She loses respect for him. Yeah, it's as simple as that. She doesn't want the man to share his emotions with her. No, no, no. At most, she wants to be sure that the man is confident as to where he's going. Because where he's going is where she's going. Because he's the head of the unit, you see, of the family. That's the point of it. See, and she wants to be confident that he knows where he's going. And so in that regard, when you want to share your emotions, you, you go and tell her, yeah, you know, I'm worried about this because see, what we have to do is we're going in this direction. And you know, this might happen and it might crimp our style. We might not have enough money, but I'm working on it and it's gonna get solved. That's what women want to hear. They wanna hear that you've got your shit together. That's what they wanna hear. And the funny thing is that see, they, women, think that they want to hear what you're actually feeling, your insecurities, your nervousness, because you and I both know that every man is insecure and ambivalent and anxious about the future. It's perfectly normal, right? And when a woman says that she wants to share emotions with you, she opens the door as if she wants to hear your anxieties, your insecurities and what have you, but she doesn't, not in her heart, see? In her heart, she wants a guy who, like the Eastern European women say, she wants a guy made of stone, a guy who's like sure, who's like a rock, who's going that way. You know, no hesitation, no ambivalence, no anxiety, no insecurity, none of that crap. That's what she wants. That's what she needs. And when she's with a woman who, when a woman rather, is with a guy who's like that, she feels confident and secure in her femininity, confident and secure in everything that she does. But when she's with a guy who starts getting all ambivalent, she loses attraction for the guy. You wanna have a woman run away from you? I mean, you want to get her gone as quickly as possible? Do the following experiment. Say to her, I don't know what to do. What should we do? I, I don't know, should we do this or should we do that? I don't know, I'm, I'm like, eh. Yeah, how long do you think that she's gonna stick around you if you act that way, huh? You think she'll stick around for five minutes or six? I bet not more than 10. Yeah, you start acting like they, like, like that, you start acting that way rather. You start acting like a soy boy, like a little gelding, like a little insecure castrati. She's gonna run. Or, or, she's gonna have you around because you're easy to control. See, but that's the other thing, because a lot of women want to share your emotions, yeah? I want you to share your emotions with her as a mechanism to control you. Yeah, as a mechanism to, have you, right, by the balls, right? Because a lot of these girls, what they want, they don't want a strong man, they want a weak man. A weak man that they can push around, that they can tell, go here, go there, do this, do that. That's what they want. They want a beta, okay? They want a beta, and you know, you can argue all you want as to why this is the case, but a lot of women want that. I think what it is is basically see that they want the beta and they try to control him because what they actually want and crave is a guy who is not controllable, okay? 
the fact of the matter is, you know, a woman, uh, you know, how, how many women do you know, right, are with some guy and she's always complaining about the guy and the guy never does what she wants, but she never leaves him. Hmm? How many women do you know like that? Huh? And how many women do you know who are with some nice guy who does everything that she says and she despises him? Mm. She just looks at him like a chump. I mean, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? And you've probably seen it. I mean, we've all seen it. We've all seen those, those women who have this, you know, nice guy husband, right? And, uh, you know, she says, oh, I love him, but he's so kind of like this or that. And she complains about him. But, you know, every once in a while she'll catch herself and say, oh, I love him. But, 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 it's that but, okay? That clues you in. Right? Women don't want that. They don't want a weak guy. Now, the reason, of course, that they constantly test a guy, and, and you know, the, this concept of the shit test arises from this, of course, is that, see, it, it's basically to, um, j just like engineers, when they check a product, it's a compliance test. It's to make sure that the, that the product actually works. It's a stress test. That's what it is. A shit test, you know, trying to get a man to open up trying to get a man to share his feelings and crap like that and dissect them, huh? it's really to check to make sure that the guy isn't that. Hmm? You see what I mean? Yeah, that, because no woman wants that. Huh? And the women who do are women you don't want to be with. See, because these women, they will have this weak guy. They will have this weak guy who does whatever they want and they'll say that they love him, right? But when a stronger guy rolls around, a guy who doesn't allow himself to be pushed around, she'll run off with him. Oh yeah, in a heartbeat, of course. I mean, her, her pussy will just want it more. His dick, rather than the nice guy's dick. Oh yes, that's the way it is. Because we are animals. I mean, it's, it's so frustrating to have to say this, you know? It's so frustrating to have to emphasize something that should be so goddamn obvious, see? We human beings are animals. No different from whales and giraffes and lions and monkeys. We are animals and we have certain instincts. Women's instincts are to check to see if the man that she is with is weak or strong. In the past, when we were all like wandering around the savannah in Africa, it was pretty goddamn obvious, right? If the guy was not eaten by a lion, he was probably all right, right? Yeah. But nowadays, in, in, in this, you know, incredible civilization that we're lucky enough to be living in, right? You know, there are no lions running around or, or whatever trying to gobble up humans, right? No. So women have developed other ways to stress test the man. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to, to, for him to open up. Now, let's say that you have opened up to a woman. How do you repair the damage? Well, quite frankly, there isn't much of a way to repair the damage, okay? Because I've noticed something. Uh, men sort of like forget stuff. Women don't. They never forget anything. And if you've shown weakness and you've been like a little, a little bitch, huh? you're not going to get over it. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, your, your rep is made and that's that, okay? Um, maybe, I mean, in exceptional cases or whatever, maybe, or if there's a radical change in who you are and she recognizes that you've changed radically and you're a whole new you, well, maybe then, right? But for the most part, nah, no, your rep stays with you, okay? And if you've been dumb enough to uh, take the bait and open up to some woman, right? And, and share your emotions, you're fucked. You're fucked. And that's that. And if you thought that this was a way that you were going to get her into your life, romantically speaking, well, believe me, that's the way to get her to not join your life, romantically speaking, sharing your emotions, right? That's the thing that beta orbiters never understand. You know, these beta orbiters, they think that if they share enough of themselves, that the girl is going to magically, you know, find him hot and attractive and want to fuck him. Yeah. And what happens? The beta orbiter shares himself repeatedly and the girl winds up fucking some other guy. Some guy who doesn't share his emotions, right? And the beta orbiter is pissed, right? Yeah, because they are confusing the situation. Hmm? Don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. I mean, understand what's going on. 